What's going on, YouTube? Back on the screen. Now, look, I told y'all I had a lot of content coming up for y'all. I just, you know, I had a lot of in life shit to do. You feel me? Take care of, you know. But now that's out the way, back to these uploads. And for my 2K people, I got 2K coming out for the weekend. On the weekend, I got videos coming out for y'all. But right now, this is for the finals. You feel me? You see, we are only too deep. Now, this strategy right here will guarantee you I literally mean it will guarantee you more wins. You feel me? You see it's working and it's only a ranked tournament. Now, the key difference between a ranked tournament and a regular, like, quick cash tournament or whatever you want to call that shit is that there's two cash outs, bro. So no matter what, those other two teams are going to be fighting for the vote and they're going to bring you the cash out unless there's a couple instances where they do dumbass shit and bring both of the cash outs to the same box where you're going to have to go out there and do the dirty work then. But... If you could just literally keep these two phases in mind, where you're not shooting, you are building, bro. You are in the build phase. That's the number one important phase, the build phase. You feel me? Easy and accessible. You feel me? Block off all the access ways. You know, that's why I run double mines. You feel me? Get quick kills with them. You feel me? You know? Now, the build phase, one of the most important phases of the game. I ain't gonna lie to you because depending on how you set yourself up with the goo gun and the mines and the barricades or whatever you run depending on how you set yourself up you can inevitably save yourself more time for the cash out and like i said in the last video people time is money maybe let's say you didn't build and it's just easy for them to run up there and destroy your shit and you know you could possibly save yourself 30 seconds of cash out time from doing this alone you see he has barricades right there. I got mines on the cash out. So if they do drop the cash out underneath us, they're going to get blown up. Blocking off all the easy, easy access ways. You feel me? And as a heavy goo gunner, you're solely responsible for taking out all turrets. Any mine you see on the ground. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I, I need to see more people using goo gun, bro. I see a lot of people using charge and slam or that, that shield, which is cool, bro. But I just feel like overall especially in the higher ranks bro the the versatility of the goo gun is unmatched you can build a cover with it you can block off access ways you can literally shoot someone with the goo gun make them get this bad little walking animation and then one clip them you know so like i said and the, another main reason why i fuck with the goo gun is there's no cooldown but you can go use your charge and slam and now you gotta wait a 15 second period before it comes back you can use your shield but as soon as they crack that 750 you gotta wait for it to come back i could literally shoot 210 shots out of this glue gun consecutively all i have to do is reload you know now you see i'm not overly pushing i'm not overly making myself a target i'm just simply defending the cash out bro now i'll be seeing a lot of people make mistakes like that you be playing light builds I hate seeing certain light builds. Like, don't get me wrong. You can be good with the light build, but you just have to be very skillful and your brain has to be there. You can't just run up in the middle and expect to, you know, get shit done. Another reason why I run heavy people, ding, ding, ding. Like, when my friend's still in the cash out, I'm gonna show y'all videos. It's times when my, my homie's been still in the cash out and the team run up on him to shoot him but me knowing i can take 350 health i'll just run up in front of him and take all the bullets now we got the cash out stole now we won the game <laughs> you know people don't be thinking like that bro they don't be thinking at all now i don't know what gun i personally like better out of the m60 or the lewis gun the lewis gun got way cleaner iron sights it feels like it does more damage that's what it feels like to me I know when I look at the stats, they say they do the same. But it's like, all right, cool. The Lewis gun just feels like it eliminates people quicker. But this M60, sometimes you just need to spray and pray, bro. Like, there's two people in front of you. You, sh you kill one, and you just keep shooting. Make the other person run. Now, I'm immediately going to the cash out. I'm not wasting any time trying to go fight over a vault. Because if we do die, we have to wait that timer to get responded and now they got a free cash out so no why not be the guy to go to the cash out wait for them to bring you the money you know and then go crazy 
now I'm trying to move this cash out from where it is right now. But like I told y'all, there's not enough time on the game. So I'm in the build phase right now. I'm trying to block off easy access points. But as soon as someone come over here, they're gonna, what the fuck? They're gonna have to, one, throw fire to get, you know, the goo gun shit away. Or use like crazy amounts of ammo to shoot through that shit. Now, I did die right here, but it's okay though. We already did the main objective. We got the cash out. It's ours. You feel me? And then I did enough to where my homie could stay alive. When I die, there's enough goo on the ground to where he could play for cover and just stay alive to where I can come back. You feel me? So I can use one of my tokens and shit. Same as him. You see how he's dead? I'm just, I'm not rushing anything right now. I'm just defending the cash out, trying to patch up, do quick insulation, roof jobs and shit, you know? block off the ways I feel like people will try to come look I kind of got him I hold him right there but it's alright he don't have to find his way in here <laughs> that shit funny rewatching now you see a hard counter to the goo gun bro is fire I'm happy that it is a counter to it too because you can use it in your favor bro it's not like they can throw a pyro nade on there and they aren't affected by the fire as well they're affected by the fire too I see, I should have focused one dude, bro. I shot at one, got him all the way one HP, and then just to start shooting at the other guy. I'm like, fuck. Now your boy gotta wait 20 seconds. Yeah, work out. And I ain't even gonna lie, this random, I'm gonna give him his props. I'm one of them type of guys. I, I, if you suck, you suck, bro. Like, there's not too much I can do for you. But... He actually knows how to play his barricades. And you see, he did everything he could right before I came back. You feel me? He died. It was, I'm like, all right. I see everything you was doing. Now it's time to hold this guy shout out. <laughs> you see, bro, we are only two deep. <clears throat> Every other team has three people, bro. We are at a disadvantage. But the brain people, we are smarter than everybody in this lobby. I can say that. We are smarter than everyone in this lobby. It's all about how you use your brain in this game, bro. And yes, that new shotgun, oh my god, that shotgun is OP. You can literally create entryways with that slug round shotgun alone. Now look, you see me, I'm not even prioritizing the vault, bro. I'm just trying to go right to a cash out. Same drill. I think this is where he died. Or I don't even know if he dies or not. I don't I don't even remember, bro. I just do know we locked this shit down and go crazy. You see, that was back-to-back -back cash outs doing the same thing I told y'all. Go immediately to the cash out. Fuck that vault, bro. You may get a thousand dollars for starting it, but cool. It's not worth it if you get squad wiped at the end of the day. You lose more than a thousand. So it's like, unless you're gonna, like, I'm gonna show you how to carry the 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 vault and all that shit. Like, what lineup to use, how to get the cash out, the money to the cash out. Cause I, bro, I'm, I'm tired of it. Certain people be letting the heavy run and, and there's no cover. You just seeing a dude run with his head cut off, bro. Just trying to get to a cash out mindlessly. Like, no, you have to understand, bro. Everyone on the map can see you, bro. So why run it in a predictable straight line where someone can just come on the roof and shoot? I'm gonna save that for another, another topic, bro. Another video. Now, last 19 seconds, last cash out. Did we have to start it? No. We could have qualified being second. But, hey, we a little greedy, bro. The way we working right now, we a little greedy. You feel me? We trying to get number one. Show these niggas you don't even need three people to win this. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Build phase. Do you not understand how insanely long that's going to take them to try to run up those stairs? Like, like, think about it. Let's say, let's say we had, like, 20 seconds left on the cash out. They already ran. Okay, no, no, no. Let's say a minute. A minute left on the catch up. And they're on the other side of the map. It's going to take them about 30 seconds just to get to us. So now they're desperate. They're they're like, oh, man, we got to go. They're going to run in here and try to just mindlessly run and try to steal the cash out. And you're going to die like that, bro. They're going to run in here, see all the goo and all that shit. And they have to go to another way, to another way, to another way. 
unless they have fire and a lot of people don't run fire bro you feel me now i got way more videos coming out for y'all man make sure you like comment subscribe bro we only wrote the 600 subs bro positive vibes we gone